Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Skyler9604 here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to get Minecraft Pi Edition version 0 0.1.1, uh, though, though this would work with other versions, um, on the Raspberry Pi, without an internet connection on your Pi itself, or you could have one, but this is going to be using all, um, a flash drive. So, all you really need is the flash drive, your pie. Let me wake mine up. Hello. Okay. Um, your pie. Um, and a computer with a working internet connection. So once you have all of those things, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna want to go ahead and do is head over to Pi dot minecraft dot net and go ahead and scroll down until you find where it says to download click here go ahead and click on that link and it should take just a moment to um, download and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and right click it or do control click if you only have a keypad and do show and finder and it should just take a minute and it should pop up and be selected in finder so um, go ahead and right click it and click on copy and then go ahead plug your flash drive into your computer And wait for it to ring up um, and then create your I'm just gonna go ahead and create myself a new folder called MC pi you don't have to I'm just gonna well I'm just gonna call this minecraft and go into the folder and then I'm gonna paste it paste item and um, I'm gonna go back into, okay, and then I'm gonna eject it, and pull it out, and then head back over to the Pi, and log in with the uh, password Pi, I mean the username Pi, password Raspberry. Oh, great, I entered it wrong, okay. Pi, Raspberry. And then go. And then, uh, well, there's multiple things you could do, but the easiest way to do it without knowing much programming is typing in start x. So go ahead and execute that command. And then you have your um, GUI, and it works great. So let me go ahead and find my. Great. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then go ahead and um, go under File Manager. Um, I put that on my desktop, but if you don't have it on your desktop, that's fine. Just go under Accessories and click on File Manager. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is plug in my flash drive. I'm just going to plug it into my keyboard because it has a USB port. And... And it should ring up like this. Hit OK. And then, boom, you have your disk. Well, I'm going to just, OK. And then go under the folder you created, in this case, Minecraft. And then um, go ahead and open it with X Archiver by right clicking it. I'm going to maximize that. And I'm going to go ahead and create a folder called, um, well, not right there, sorry, um, in your home directory, which is um, probably under Pi, you normally create a directory called mcpy, but since I already have it, I'm going to go ahead and create another directory called mcpyv2, um, and execute. And then, once that's on there, I'm going to go back to the disk, well, go back to the X archiver. And then click on Archive Tree 
and go to MC Pi, and then uh, click the button that says Extract Files. And where it says Extract To, click on the little icon and find your folder. Now, normally you'd want MC Pi, but I'm going to choose MC Pi V2. Go ahead and click on Open and hit Extract. And it'll be really fast because it doesn't have that much um, um, space, well, memory that it takes up. And it's already done, so go ahead and hit X and go on to Pi and go to uh, um, the uh, directory you created. MCPy v2 is what I'm going to call it. MCPy, and then it says Minecraft Pi. Now you could click it and hit execute. And that would launch Minecraft Pi, and I already have worlds, considering that I already have Minecraft Pi Edition. But uh, you can execute it from the GUI, or another option is that you can um, execute it by going into the terminal, LX terminal, and typing in CDMCPy. Um, that's what you type, but since I um, had version 2, I'm going to type V2, and then hit enter. Well, uh, okay, so actually I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. Just type CD, MC, Pi, and hit enter. So that's basically changing the directory to Minecraft Pi, because right now you're in, um, the, uh, you're in your home directory. So now that you're in the MCPy folder, I'm going to go ahead and punch in ls just to make sure that we have what's in it. And it has like Minecraft Pi. So that's what you want. And if it doesn't, if it says something like um, what mine says in MCPy v2, um, uh, if it has one directory called mcpy that's okay just cd over to that mcpy hit enter and then you can just um go to ls and since it says minecraft pi just type in dot slash minecraft and that's a forward slash minecraft dash pi and execute that uh, oh i spelled it wrong <laughs> okay dot slash minecraft dash pi and then execute that and then it'll open minecraft so that was my quick tutorial on how to get minecraft pi edition on your raspberry pi without um having to be on the internet on your pi now i actually do have an internet connection but this does not require one so uh that's all i'm going to show you all today um also my next video is going to be reviewing my imac that i recently got and not only that, I got, sorry my closet's a mess, but I got um, another Power Mac, meaning, um, Power Mac G4, meaning that now I have three Power Macs, a Power Mac G3 and two Power Mac G4s. And so that's all I have to show you all today. Um, thanks for watching.